Hi, so this is the uh, Snugpack Softy 6 Kestrel sleeping bag. So it's a 1.2 kilogram sleeping bag, takes you down to comfort level of uh, zero, uh, you know, freezing point, and then the extreme level of minus five. As you can see, really good packable size. Um, yeah, really good. This is obviously uncompressed at the moment, just in its uh, in its bag form, but you know, a really good um, size to, to warmth ratio. So let's get into it. So uh, tried and tested systems, these sleeping bags have been around for decades. They've improved sort of every few years with upgrades in technology, upgrades in fabric, uh, design tweaks to zips and things like that. But essentially it's the same sleeping bag that's been around for a really long time. Thousands of troops, guys, girls have used these sleeping bags on exercise and on operations across the world. Uh, really strong sleeping bags. Will, can you take us through some of the features? Yeah, sure. So there's a full length zip that runs along the side of the sleeping bag, which is also reinforced in the back, so it reduces the chance of snagging when you're um, opening and closing uh, the bag. It's also a two-way zip, so there's another zip at the bottom here, so you can use that to ventilate out any hot air if you start to build up too much hot air on the inside. Then also, whilst we're here in the foot box area, you've got a reinforced fabric that when you're wearing your boots inside, if you're worried about getting bumped in the evening, then you're not going to be ruining the inside of your sleeping bag. On the top, you've also got an elasticated hood, so again, if, which is also cinchable, so if you wanted to cinch it down nice and tight so you can retain as much of the, warm, uh, the warmth in your sleeping bag than you can do. And finally, what you'll notice is that there's no, there's no stitch lines um, on the front of the um, sleeping bag, there's no baffles, and the reason for that is that it reduces the amount of cold spots within the bag, so it gives you a more even distribution of warmth throughout it. So, one of the really good things about the Snugpack range, especially when you get to this size sleeping bag and the one smaller than this, the, the Softy 3, is that these make great additional liners to the bigger sleeping bag systems that they've got. So you could put this inside a Softy 10 or a Softy 12 and give you that extra level of insulation. That's what a lot of people do. They'll buy a smaller, lightweight version. So this sleeping bag's perfect for like spring, summer within the UK. But then if you really needed a decent winter system, you could combine this with a Softy 10 or a Softy 12 and then get a really good synthetic uh, sleeping system for minus 10, minus 15 degrees. Um, so yeah, the Softy 6 um, from Snugpack.